here, you guys have a problem. I want to move. Uh, I want to stay. It's a total man pad. And I'm here to convince you guys to stay, to renovate. Ooh. I am going to convince you guys to move. That's a bit tight. You just need to lose some weight. Oh, wow. you guys are about to have World War III over this. We have to stay. <laughs> are you fed up with your house? Are you going to fix it? Or are you going to sell it? As a designer, I tell you, it's time to renovate. As a realtor, I tell you, it's time to relocate. We'll show you how to make the right choice. And get you the home of your dreams. Agnes and Chad have reached this housing gridlock. Recently, Agnes moved into Chad's rundown bachelor pad, which feels more like a frat house than her own home. <laughs> the main issue is the outdated and dysfunctional kitchen, and Agnes is fed up. I hate this kitchen. Look at the floor. It's like from 1980. And like, what were they thinking installing this? And these are so gross, too. Chad knows a change is necessary for this couple. They just can't agree on what that change should be. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey. Nice to see you. We hear you guys have a problem. Well, right now we're trying to decide whether we should stay and renovate or if we're going to relocate out to the country. How long have you been here? Uh, He's I've been, been here, here for, for about 15 months I've been right. here. I just moved in three months ago. She was my real estate agent. For this place. Had I known we'd become a couple, I would never have sold in this house. <laughs> so what don't you like about this house? It's a total man pad. Wait till you see the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Wow, it's mm. beautiful. <laughs> it's exactly. Isn't it? I just don't you love the floor? The floor, is... the matching appliances. And look at the wonderful backsplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going old school in here. This floor oh, is the yeah. height of fashion in 1976. Yeah. It looks like somebody drank and ate too much and had a little accident. What about the layout and the function? It's not bad. It's just more aesthetics for me. I step in here and I, I want to cook. I don't want to be in this room. So why haven't you guys just renovated or moved? We haven't really decided yet. You're sort we of, uh, well, <laughs> you've decided. <laughs> so you obviously want to move. move. I want to move. So you really want to stay? Yeah. The thing that works is both of us want the country property. Why didn't you just go to a house in yeah. the country to begin with? Cost, costly. To get what I wanted out in the country, it was just too much for me myself. Now it's the two of you. It really doesn't make sense to move this early, I don't think. All After right. just moving in, all we need to do is fix it up so that Agnes likes it. So makes think sense of the make. rolling hills and deer. Uh, that'll come. That'll Sheep come in a couple and horses. Years. Yeah. Might as well just do it now. Maybe. But no. Let's gotcha. see more of the house. <laughs> all right. So right in here is the beautiful fireplace room. Going upstairs, the first two bedrooms are sparse, but are decent sizes. The washroom is in good shape, and it's fairly roomy. This is actually a really great size master bedroom. And there's a desk <laughs> here, but it's obviously that's Chad's. I don't understand. So he has a games room down the hall, but yet a big computer and another games room here. In mm -hmm. the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Do you see my problem? And in the basement, more man cave sensibility. More hangout space. Yes. Yeah. This is actually a really beautiful bar. I'm curious, you're a real estate agent, mm -hmm. so why are you using another real estate agent? Well, I don't want to get emotionally involved. Plus, I can team up on Chad with her. Or See, him. that's really what or, I was hoping uh -huh. for. it can be a mediator. <laughs> I think there's lots to talk about, guys. There's a lot of good stuff going on in this house. Lots of potential here, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. What would be on your wish list to renovate? It would have to be the kitchen. Magazine quality. That's what I'd do. We'd need more storage, for sure. It has to be to the nines. If we were going to renovate, what would be your renovation budget? The budget we're looking at is about 35000 35000 is tough. It's always tough. No matter what yeah. you give me, I'm going to tell you that it's tough. We want a magazine-worthy kitchen, and that will cost. Let me crunch some numbers, and I'll come up with a design plan. Your house has a lot of really nice features. I mean, you do have a finished basement. You have lots of room. The negative that I see is that the decor is really outdated. That kitchen, it has to go. Comparables in your neighborhood really are selling about $285,000 to $320,000. So I know that you only bought this property a year ago and you paid $300,000 for it. Yeah. Because you haven't done anything in the year that you've been here and the market has not been skyrocketing, I would list this property at $299,000. Told you, you are updated. <laughs> we have to stay. <laughs> what would be your wish list for a new property? It would be great if the new place had a wonderful kitchen. Country property, for sure. Acreage is a must. Preferably like a pond or a stream or something on the acreage would be nice. Three bedrooms minimum. And a man cave for Chad. Yeah. Man cave is good. Yeah, I've got to have my space. Yeah. And what would be your budget for this property? 450. 
450,000? Yeah. yeah. You know what? That's actually a really healthy budget. I'm gonna go and find you guys a house that meets all of your wish list items within your budget to convince you guys to move. Yeah. And if you decide to move, then I'm gonna be able to show you all of the other options out there on the market. I don't think that's how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna drop some plans, I'm gonna crunch some numbers, and if you choose to renovate, we'll go ahead with the plan. Perfect, yeah. I don't think that's how it's gonna go down, but... I got you covered. We will see. Chad bought a frat house. Agnes hated that house in the beginning. Yeah. He should just cut his losses and let her sell it. No, no, it doesn't make any sense. You wanna put it on the market for the same price Chad bought it for? It doesn't make sense. Let's get her energy in the kitchen, solve it from there. Make it beautiful. You have no idea the power us women have, do you? <laughs> While Robin is working on his design plans, I get the first shot at convincing Agnes and Chad that real estate is the way to go. And this is all conservation area, so it will never be built upon. This house has been renovated. It has a modern kitchen, lots of potential man space, and it's on an acre of land. So come on in. Ooh. Now this is what I'm talking about. I know you said that kitchens were huge on your wish yes, list. Definitely. Granite, stainless steel, mahogany cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. Love it. See, this is what a kitchen should look like, Chad. It's a very good start in convincing you. I don't know. It looks a little bit short on counter space. I hope we don't need anything out of the fridge at the same time we need something out of the oven. But you just need to lose some weight. Huh? Why? Oh, you wow. guys are about to have World War III <laughs> over this. Someone really likes this house, I think. I do. Bedroom number one. I was thinking maybe an office. Yeah, she put the desk yeah. in the corner in front of the window, so it'd be nice. Let's go look across the hall to the bathroom. Oh, it's cute. And then in here, bedroom number two. Oh, that's nice. nice. So this is the master. It's a nice, decent size. I do have a basement I want to show you. This would be your man space. As you can see, the basement's unfinished. It has insulation. Now what it needs is drywall and flooring. I don't really like that the basement's not finished. What's the price on the house? It has recently undergone a pretty dramatic price reduction. Your budget is $450,000 for a property. This one is currently listed at $449,900. Now remember what you get for that price, a newly renovated country property on an acre of land. Does that tempt you at all? It's definitely starting to sway me a little. Yay. But I think I'd like to see what Robin's got for us back at the house. You know what, Chad? I've got you back. My design plan is going to give Agnes the modern kitchen she dreams about. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Check that out. Ooh. Is, huh? I would still love to see this kitchen in a country <laughs> property. <laughs> a different home? Not so hasty there, Robin, my friend. Agnes seems to have enjoyed the country air quite a bit. You wanted magazine quality, this is magazine cover quality. Your floors, all the way from front to back, is a beautiful hardwood. This entire wall where the fridge is now is completely ill-used space. So what we've done is we've flipped the peninsula over to this side. So we've maximized this wall for storage, and we're gonna go all the way up to the ceiling, right? So you've got massive storage everywhere. I like the fact that all the appliances match. All of your finishes are the highest end. So we've got beautiful white marble, Backsplash. Engineered quartz countertop all the way through, so it keeps it light and feminine and fresh, still easy to clean, totally durable. New seating area here, and two at bar height for you guys. You're able to keep that all under 35 grand. It's not a huge kitchen, so that's kept the cost down. I hate to admit it, but it, it is. Oh no, I know you love it. it I, nice. I listened to you and I gave you everything that you wanted, and then some. I would still love to see this kitchen in a country <laughs> <property>. <laughs> In a different home. The vibe from here, permeates the entire house. You take your cues from here and off it goes. You got yourself a big boy, big girl house. Especially for Chad. Why'd you point at me for big girl? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the much anticipated call that Agnes and Chad have made a decision. We hear that you have a decision for us. We sure do. What yeah. is going on? A well, lot of debates and a lot of discussion. Right. Okay. Yeah, we looked at the house, obviously. The house was really nice. Yeah. Opened my eyes to what's out there right now. Mm -hmm. And we've looked at the plan for the kitchen. I really love your plan. Yeah. I really do. Have these guys decided to stay in Reno or sell and relocate? And then we decided that we'd had to uh, relocate. Yes. Girls <laughs> win! Girls win. Real estate agent power right there. Yes. You guys figure out which way to go. Well, I think seeing the house opened up Chad's eyes a little bit. Because he saw the land, he saw the country living, he saw the dream. 
I think that changed his mind a little bit. It's what we were looking at doing, what I've been looking at doing since even when I first started yeah. looking at houses with Agnes. So it was sped, what I wanted. It was sped up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, can see, still... I can see the gray coming out of your hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Obviously. the right decision, but now Robin has a job to do too, right? For sure. We've got to take that rental plan for the kitchen and turn it into a rental to sell plan. For sure. Okay? Yeah. To stage this place, I'm going to focus on their kitchen. It will need a light overhaul of the cabinets and the countertops to make it more appealing to potential home buyers. And it's really important also, when you're doing these stagings for resale, to keep an eye on the dollar. You want to spend between 1 and 2% of the value of the home mm -hmm. on the restaging efforts. So I valued your property at $299,000. So you really want to stay sort of between three and $5,000 mm -hmm. on yeah. this yeah. staging. And that's going to be really tight, guys, but I'll get it done for you for sure. And I'm going to go and find you guys a couple more properties to look at so that you guys can make a really good informed decision. Sounds good. Right. Beautiful, yeah. man. Excellent. Let's do it. Good for you. You actually get to do some work now for a change. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we have two real estate agents mm -hmm. on this case. Yeah. We are going to find the perfect house easily. You're going to need two to get this done. <laughs> they work cut out for you. So if Agnes isn't happy with the current state of this kitchen, other women won't be either. It needs to be move-in ready for potential home buyers. We're going to take this countertop out now, we're going to install a more appealing butcher block countertop and replace the outdated backsplash with a plastic white subway top. That is a popular and inexpensive fix that will appeal to a broad range of buyers. This old kitchen also has limited cabinets, which is a real turnoff. We'll need to install some more storage so people can see that this kitchen has more than enough space. So I'm going to take a chance and show Agnes and Chad a rural property that they may question at first. But this cute country house is on a whopping 10 acres of land and has another little surprise for this couple. It comes with a full restaurant and bar. I know, I can tell by the looks on your faces that this may seem strange to have a restaurant on your property. But I want you to focus on the property with this land, not the restaurant. Look at the restaurant as just an added bonus. Now let's go look at the house. So come on in. Okay, you walk in, what's your first impression? It's ugly. <laughs> I mean, it's not beautiful but there's potential. That is what I want you guys to see. And it's a country cute feeling. So come on in here. This is the master bedroom. Cute. And it's a king size bed. More to see. Let's go okay. to the bathroom right across the hall. It's so cute. So here is your main living room space. You do have an electric fireplace here, but then it's a nice big space. It works. It's cute. Let me take you upstairs. Okay. Whoa. So go this is for short oh. people, man. Yeah, I'm the short guy. Circles. Come on in here. I want to show you the bedroom. Oh, it's cute. And I do like one and a half story homes. Let's go across the hall because there's the third bedroom right there. Oh, it's purple. It's, uh, this would be easier to paint over and make blue and make a games room. Although the light wouldn't quite be fit because it's kind of low, but. This house is not meant to suit all of the needs on your wish list oh, in terms sure. of aesthetics, but it comes with 10 acres of land. So I thought it was something that you should consider. While Vanessa is showing Agnes and Chad a very unique option they may not have considered, the staging of the kitchen is going well. This is uh, looking amazing, huh? That is beautiful. Look at that. And you know what I love about this? It ties in the brown on the floor. It doesn't look so out of place. If Agnes and Chad were staying, I would replace the old vinyl floors for sure. But they're moving. And now I need to pick and choose what to fix and what to leave in order to stay on budget. This flooring isn't in bad shape, it's just dated. And by updating the rest of the kitchen, the focus will be moved away from the flooring. Beautiful. Now that you've seen the whole property, what's your overall impression? Tell me what you think. It's really close to the road. Like that's a yeah. big drawback of if you want to move to the country, you want quieter. It's very cute, but it's also very small. Yes. But there are a lot of pros, too. I do like the fact that there's the river. What well, is the price? I'm glad you asked me that. I'm glad because I know it doesn't meet all of your wish list. But from an investment perspective, this property is solid gold. Remember, it's on 10 acres of land and there is a restaurant included in the price. We could always rent it out to a proprietor. Right. Just collect the profits. The list price on this property is right at the top of your budget, $449,900. Okay, well, we do have another property that I'm gonna show you. So this is the property here, and it's on just under an acre and a half of property. And this is a really nice country neighborhood. Other nice thing is that right across the street is all agricultural land, so you will never have suburbia being built right there. Even better. So come on right in. Ooh. 
airy. There's three bedrooms here on the main level. The first room we're gonna go into is the master bedroom. It's cute, it's very bright. You have the double closets, hardwood floors. His and hers, yay. His and hers closets. Both of them are mine. Let's go have a look Sorry. at the next bedroom. Cute. Nice view again. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's purple again. Wow, well, kids rooms, right? They're supposed to be. Kids rooms. Gonna... Wow. What? <laughs> oh, I mean, come on. Now you're That's... thinking. <laughs> bathroom. Oh, it's big. Mm, and look, you don't have to bend down like in the other true. house. That's a bonus. And it's a jacuzzi tub, which I is noticed that. nice. Awesome. So come on in here. I want you guys to take this kitchen in. Ooh, it's nice. nice. The cabinetry is all new. And I like this little cubby bed. hole to have breakfast. This is a unique table to this property. It mm. comes with the house. I like it. You like nice. it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen. So let's come in here. The second full bathroom. Oh, nice. It's convenient right off the living room. Nice. And That's the fireplace. I like that. Come and look at this view. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Awesome. I like it. Now there is a basement I want to show you as well because we have not seen any man space yet. So welcome to <gasps> Manland. Wow. Look, Chad, wood paneling. Wood paneling. It is a bit of a work in progress. And in the meantime, gives you tons of room to have a games room, to have a spare room, to have a bar if you wanted to. Now, one of the best things about this property is the price. So your budget right now is $450,000. Yes. Yep. The list price on this property, $399,000. Nice. Wow, that's yeah. a lot less than I thought it was going for. So now you guys have a big decision to make because you've seen all three properties. I am gonna need a decision from you, and very quickly. I can't wait to hear what you've decided. While Agnes and Chad are thinking about their housing options, I'm putting the finishing touches to the staging of their kitchen. Vanessa and the couple arrive, and I'm ready to show off their updated and beautiful kitchen. Really good, are you ready? Yes. Everybody's good? Yes. Absolutely. Right this way, kids. Wow! <laughs> oh my god, it looks like That's an awesome country kitchen. So pretty. amazing. Wow. The drab and outdated kitchen is now updated country chic and gives buyers an immediate homey feeling. That's uh, completely different. <laughs> You want to stay, huh? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> These are the exact cabinets that you had before. We put four layers of paint over top of them. They look like brand new, new hardware. They freshen up the space and they let buyers know that the kitchen has been well cared for. I can't believe it's the same cupboards. I gotta say the backsplash is about 3,000 times better. The white subway tile adds a simple, clean, classic look to the space. And you have yeah. curtains. Yeah. The blinds highlight the best feature in the room, the windows, and they draw the buyer's attention to the beautiful view. I love that table now. I know. You didn't think about that table before at all. It's the same table. Oh my god, that is the same table. Exactly the same table. The seating area shows buyers that there's enough space for this to be an eat-in kitchen and to enjoy the beautiful view outside. Check out the storage, guys, over here. Wow, that's a lot better than uh, Oh yeah, than the whole cupboard. Buyers will walk in and immediately see there's enough storage. It's simple, but effective. You guys did an amazing job. It looks like something from a magazine still. What I really like about this kitchen is that Robin stayed right on budget. I wanted you to stay between one and 2% of the value of your home, which would be three to $5,000. And now when buyers walk in, they don't see the terrible kitchen that you both hated. Yeah. They see a kitchen that functions, that is dated, but would work. Are you staying? No, no. they're not <laughs> staying, they're moving. I will give you guys this evening to enjoy your kitchen but I am gonna want a decision from you about which house you've chosen. Walk me through the decision. The house on the conservation area, I really liked. It's got the stream running right along the property line. The kitchen was amazing, but I think it didn't have enough guy space for Chad. I really like the house with the 10 acres and the restaurant on it. It's got lots of land for us. It does have the pond and the stream, which we wanted. I think the kitchen is the biggest drawback for me. It's worse than what we had. It's a smaller house. The roof slanting in on all the rooms upstairs. The house in the country neighborhood, we really like that one. The kitchen was nicely done. The fireplaces were a big bonus. The basement could use some work for sure. Mm. That's really the only house with the man space built in right now. Like, it is usable, but it needs to be fixed. So tell me after all of this, which house did you guys choose? Well, you might be a little surprised. Okay. But it'll be a pleasant surprise because we probably wouldn't have found this without you. But we decided to go with a 10-acre restaurant. Ah! <laughs> 
I was so hesitant to show that to you, but I'm glad that you picked it. When we pulled in, we were immediately saying to each other, no. Yeah. And you just... We were thinking, what is ideas. Vanessa doing? But you kind of opened our eyes. We think we can turn that into our dream property over the years. Because our plan is to rent out the restaurant and then live in the existing house, which is fine for the time being, yeah. while collecting and saving to build our dream house further into the lot. And there's room for it, because it's 10 acres. That could be your forever property. Exactly. Absolutely. That's yeah. what we were thinking. Well, I'm so happy that I could help you guys make that decision. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. You're the best real estate agent, even better than me. <laughs>